What's up guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to be getting into some more advanced building techniques to help give your objects that extra little bit of detail. So to help demonstrate that, I'm going to be building a table. So I'll go up to my rectangle tool, and I'll draw a box that's 5 feet by 3 feet. So this is going to be my table top, and I want my table top to be an inch thick, so I'll push and pull that up. The shortcut again is of course uh, P. Currently I'm going, to be, I'm going to be building it upside down, so the frame will be on top. So I'll drag in my guides two inches like this, and I'll drag these another set of guides in another two inches from the lines I already have drawn, and I'll drag this in so we'll have guides that uh, look like this when we're done. So because we're building a frame that has two identical pieces on each end. We're only going to build two pieces because then we can mirror the other two pieces later. But before we do any more drawing, I'm going to triple click my tabletop, I'll hit G, which will bring up the Create Ponent window, and I'll just call it Top. So now I can take my Rectangle tool, or R as a shortcut, and drag out my rectangles here. Bring these up four inches. So now we have our frame pieces. I'll isolate these as well. Triple click. I'll call them frame long. And same for the short piece, frame short, like that. So now we have our two pieces. Now I'll just isolate the longer piece. And we need a way of connecting this to the actual tabletop. So I'll bring it in four inches from the guide. And now I'll drag out another one two inches. I can take my rectangle tool drag it out like that, I'll bring this up one inch and I'll do the same for the short piece, I'll just delete my guides real quick so now we have our connecting frame pieces but of course from a technical standpoint they're still not really connected to the tabletop I'll drag out my guide five inches because what we're going to do now for detail's sake is we're going to add some screws to our table so I have my guides at five inches each and I'll put another one on our midpoint here, like that. Drag in a line one inch. So what I'll do now is I'll go to my circle tool, or C, and I'll drag out a, uh, a radius of an eighth of an inch, which of course means the circle is a quarter of an inch. And I also want to countersink these holes so that the entire screw isn't sitting above the hole. So I'll drag this down just a quarter of an inch for now, 0.25, and we'll get this extra line. If I hit control, we'll get a plus. It looks like it's not pushing it any further down, but don't worry about that. I'll just go down here, type in 0.75, because that's the width the, uh, the length of the hole. And you'll get a reverse face. Just delete that. And now you can see that the hole continues all the way down to the actual tabletop surface. But we still have this extra line inside of our hole. So what we can do now is I'll select the top line, go over to Scale, or S. So now I can drag my the hole out in any any direction that I want like this. But it's not dragging it out in any particular fashion. So so I'm going to select a corner uh, node here and I'll hit control while I'm dragging it. And you can see that it it drags it out equally in all distances. So I'll drag it out to 2 like that. And now we can see that our the hole is countersunk. So our screw will actually go into the board here a little bit. So I'll do this for all, all the holes. So I have all the holes in the long piece done, and uh, the guides are getting a bit confusing to look at, so I'll just delete them all. Drag in some more guides here, five inches. Because it's a shorter piece, we only need two this time. Drag out another one from the middle, and drag it out an eighth. And if you do a certain measurement enough, SketchUp will tend to snap to that measurement after a while. So I'll just bring this down, same measurement as before, quarter of an inch, and then the rest of the way can be 0.75. So I'll delete that. Once again, reverse my face, pull this out to two. Same goes for this side. All of the holes are now complete, but of course we need to put some holes in the tabletop surface for those screws to go into. So we'll just go into our tabletop surface, and we know that this is two inches, and that this is an inch, and these are one inch into the middle of this board, so those screws are aligned to that area. 
do the same for here and I'll bring this in four inches on uh, on both ends so that our other two pieces will align properly like that and now we need to align the center of the holes in this direction so we know that this is four another four and five so it's 13 inches and same goes for this end put in 13 and our end pieces here are 13 as well and all we need to do to find our middle one is just go to our midpoint. So now we have all of the areas identified where holes need to go on the tabletop surface. So I'll just click on these two and go hide. And we can go into our tabletop surface again and drag out eighth of an inch circles. So Chris, when you're done, you'll have ten holes, three on the long ends and two on the short ends. Delete my guides again and now you can pull them down. So I'll pull these down a half inch. You don't want them to go all the way through the tabletop surface because then they'll be visible from the other side and we don't want that. So now we have all of the uh, screw holes pulled down. I'll just go to edit unhide all and we'll get our rails back. Now what we can do is uh, take our two pieces hit M and then control I believe it's alt on a Mac and then drag and then we'll t we'll have our extra two pieces here we'll flip these 180 degrees like that so we'll drag in some guides two inches both sides like that stick them there drag in another two inches and then we have our pieces but of course we still need a way of connecting the end pieces here to the actual leg of the table so what I'm going to do is I'll take my line tool again and I'll drag out a, a line across from here, drag this down 0.15, go to my edge face here to inference. So now I have this end piece. Drag this down to this line so we have a corner piece done. And we gotta put some holes in this as well for some screws to connect to the leg. So I'll drag this up one inch from both ends. Take my circle tool again, another eighth of an inch. Do the same, do the same process, so we don't need to have multiple kinds of screws. I'll drag it in a quarter of an inch, and then the rest of the way can be uh, just pulled through. I'll do the same for the bottom one as well, so we can delete our guides, scale this hole up to 200%, and we'll highlight that piece by dragging a box around it or you can triple click and we'll go G and we'll say corner piece so now we can duplicate this piece bring it over here keep it on an axis just so it doesn't go up or down and we'll rotate it uh, 90 degrees like that and stick that piece there oh, move it a little bit there we go now instead of duplicating this a bunch of times we can actually just take both pieces and we'll drag an extra two down to about here and then we'll go to scale and we'll drag this or we'll click the center point and go drag it drag it to the other end we'll go minus one and it will actually mirror the pieces for you so that we can just move these back up and now we have all four of the pieces that we need so now what we can do is we can uh, start putting screws in these holes that we've created so in order to do that we of course need to create the screw first and we'll start with the bottom, we'll make it an eighth of an inch. The holes in the table are of course a half an inch and then we have three quarters of an inch and then we have the, uh, the quarter of an inch countersink. So we have for these holes uh, 1.25 inches and then I'll drag this up, hit control so we can bring this up a quarter of an inch like that and then we'll drag this down a sixteenth of an inch just because I want to taper the edge so I'll do that and we can drag this up to 200 percent and I'll drag this up to about mm, here just to give the screw a, a tapered look to it so I'll draw some lines here in the middle of the screw it's like my polygon tool and I'll make sure I have six sides when you drag it out you can make it look almost like an allen key bit so erase all my lines drag this down a quarter erase this face in the middle here you can erase these uh, 
center lines as well. So then we'll just triple click our screw and we'll say screw 1.25. We'll duplicate this, bring it over here, and we'll bring it up an inch because we need to make the screws a little bit longer on these end pieces because an inch and a quarter isn't really going to be long enough to go into the leg. So we'll go over here and make sure you hit right click make unique so it doesn't edit this screw when you change it. We'll just go into the isolation and we'll make this make this one a half an inch longer like that. So now we can take the first screw we made and duplicate it and all we have to do is just align it with the same uh, face on this on this circle as the one on the screw and it will align properly and you go down into here you can see that it uh, fits into the screw hole and then we'll just duplicate these for the rest of the holes so just make sure that they align with the same face so we have all three of those placed we can just uh, duplicate them to the other side of the table Then you can of course put these in the uh, shorter pieces as well. So now we're going to make the legs and I want, I want the leg to come out a little bit past these end pieces so I'll drag these out a quarter and I'll make the leg a square 3x3 three three. so that should be big enough. So now what I can do is I'll just uh, trace these inside lines here like that. Pull this up to level with this line triple click and reverse the faces if necessary and uh, erase this inside piece we don't need that so now I can drag this in so I can pull in some lines here like that and drag another line across because we don't really want the inside of the leg sticking into there so draw a line up from here like that and we can erase all of these lines so now we have the beginning part of our uh, table leg but just to make sure there are no hidden lines on the inside of this, I'm going to hit K. And you can see that there are a couple of lines still inside here from when we pulled it up that are connected to the top surface. So the beauty about uh, that is I can just erase them through the actual model. Hit K again and hide it. So we want it to be 3 feet high. And we already have uh, 5 inches like that. So I'll bring this up. I'll hit Control and go 2 foot 7. So then we have that, but I don't want the leg to be this big at the end, so I'll drag in another guide, an inch, from both ends. Now I can draw a line from the line I have left. And I'll drag in a square that's uh, two by two, so it lines up with those lines. Delete my guides again erase all these pieces and now what I'm going to do is I'll draw lines from here and line them up with the square on the bottom so we have sort of a tapered leg shape going on I can delete these lines so I'll triple click my leg and I'll hit G I'll just call it leg and same sort of process I'll drag it over here make sure I'm on an axis rotate it 90 degrees I'll line it up with the correct part of the table, like that. I can mirror these again, bring these over here, scale, and minus one. Drag these up a little ways. There we go. So now we have the table legs complete. So now we need to put some screw holes in the table leg so we can bolt them on. But instead of messing around with uh, one that's already on the table, I'll just duplicate it and bring it over here. And because they're, they're components, whatever I do to this one, for example, I delete this face, it will do to the rest of them. So I, all I have to do now is go to here, drag a line down one inch and drag a line up one inch because that's where the, the holes are on the actual table itself. Drag this to my midpoint drag out my eighth inch circles and I'll drag this in a half an inch so now we have the holes figured out delete my guides I can delete this one because if I go to here now you can see that the, the hole continues into the actual leg just take my screw 
rotate it 90 degrees and now I can duplicate it and rotate it 45 degrees like that and I'll align it with one of the surface faces drag it around like this I can copy these two now bring them over here change it 90 degrees I'll drag these up here like that and we have all of our screws in place the table is essentially finished I'll delete these other screws we don't need those now so all I have to do is highlight my table I go to the midpoint of the leg component like that and I'll flip it 180 degrees and because the tabletop is an inch I'll drag the table down one inch so now we have our finished table as you can see I've painted it and the beauty about painting with components is if you paint one component it will paint uh, all the other components the same way so that means if you paint one screw it will paint the rest of the screws um, same with uh, moving textures around and so forth pretty straightforward we can make our model look a little bit more realistic I'll just turn off edges profiles and I'll turn on my shadows there we go you can move around the lighting a little bit kind of realistic I'll just delete Susan here here we go so hopefully this tutorial helped you figure a few things out uh, if you have any additional uh, questions or requests please leave them in the comments below I'll definitely read them and get back to you so thanks for watching guys